Well, well, well. So, you're here because you don't understand the ecosystem and the data back as well. Now, to be honest, if you weren't struggling with this, then you didn't care enough about the game. So, yeah. So, what I'm gonna do, just like a quick, like, kind of basic, kind of, you know, easy to understand, hopefully, uh, guide on the data bank and a little bit of echoes. I'm gonna go into that a little bit. So, yeah. But the data bank is kind of confusing. Okay. Stop the goofy music. It's time to learn now. So, let's go into the data bank. So, you unlock this basically as soon as you, you know, go through the story and you're able to like play the game by yourself basically. I like to explore. So, the data bank right here. So, what we're looking at is obviously, you know, you're gonna start at like, you know, level one basically. Level zero, level one. You're gonna start at level zero and what you're gonna, what you have at level zero of the data bank is you have a base drop rate of 6%. Enhanced drop rate of 20%. Cool. Highest drop rate, just two stars, so like the green echoes, right? And then cost limit is eight. So this is the total of like echoes that you're able to equip, basically. I'll talk about that in a little bit when I talk about echoes. What we have here at level zero is base drop rate of 6%. So that means you have a 6% chance for an echo to drop, basically. And then an enhanced drop rate. This is for Overlord uh, or Calamity, um, like class bosses. I guess it's just basically the bosses. Um, they have a twenty percent chance to drop. So, or to be honest, something like that. I'm not exactly sure myself. <laughs> there you go. But then what we have under this is remaining chances for Overlord or Calamity. I guess monsters, right? Uh, echoes. What we're talking about here is every week we have a guaranteed chance for whenever you kill a boss to drop its echo. So if you're playing the game like right now or you've like started this week, you know, like Monday, just save that until Sunday basically. And then if by Sunday you get up, you know, through your data bank, you're gonna start getting like purple, like blues, purples, and then legendaries, right? Yellows. So yeah, just wait to use up your guaranteed echoes until level 15, until you're able to get five star echoes. Cool. Uh, now let's go back a couple of steps here. So what you want as well is to level this up, you basically need those echoes, right? So you need to farm the mobs. You need to kill monsters. Um, now to be honest, throughout the story, that's just gonna happen. You know, you're gonna farm monsters and if you get lucky, you get lucky, right? But basically what that means, and it's also free exploration. So like if you really like the puzzles and you don't really care about like mobs or fighting, as long as you explore, you will get echoes because most like a lot of puzzles require like fighting and stuff like that, right? But there you have it. So, yeah, so you need, you know, to level up the data bank, you need to get echoes. Crazy, I know. To understand. Now, to level this up, because, you know, that sounds easy, right? You just farm the Echoes and then you get XP. But it's not exactly like that. What you're looking for is, if I go to my, this tab right here, the Echo Collection Progress, is, what you need is you need each specific Echo, right? So there's like all of these ones. Uh, you know, like, I'm sure you've seen like this traffic guy, the, um, the flower, right? I'm pretty sure you've seen these guys. So each of these like specific Echoes, you need to get each of their rarity, right? So there's green, two star, blue, three star, purple, four star, and the legendary yellow, five star, right? So you know, whenever you get this, it will start progressing this bar here on the right. As you can see, we have um, basically right here, this bar. What we have is we have the XP bar of the mob, the echo itself, right? So when you unlock its rarity two, so it's green version, when you get that for the first time, you're gonna get 10 data back XP. When you unlock the rarity three, so the blue version, you're gonna get another 10 on top of the 10, so 20 in total. Then when you get the purple four, you're gonna get 15, so that makes it 35. 
And then we never get the legendary, you're gonna get 20 on top of that, which is 45, 55 XP in total. So that's how that works. So I'm pretty sure every single Echo has something like that. Yep. I'm pretty sure it just follows the same XP. Maybe bosses have more XP? No. So that's the case for every single Echo in the game. So that's how you level up your data bank. You need to kill the mobs. And then, you know, you're gonna start with greens. You're gonna level up your data bank by getting the greens. Then you're gonna start getting blues. You're gonna level it up by getting blues. You're gonna then get purples, level it up by getting purples. And then you're gonna get legendaries and level it up by getting legendaries. To be honest, all, all that you're looking for to like reach end game basically um what you need is you need data bank 15 because if you see around 14 the highest drop priority is still the four so the purple but if you go to 15 then it becomes five crazy so you're able to get legendary echoes now warning don't level up purple blue or green echoes only level up legendary echoes because we don't have we don't have that much echo xp to be honest in this game uh so it's kind of scarce right now like, for me right now, I only have one character with, like, full Echoes and amount of XP, so I can build, like, other Echoes. Um, so it's kind of rough out here, to be honest. Just wait until you get to level 15, data bank 15, and then you can, like, start getting Legendaries, and then you level them up. Now, there's also another thing, another, like, tip that I may have, right? So whenever you... I'm just gonna say, whenever you unlock the four cost, right? The four rarity, right? So the purples at the rank 8... I would say from here on, what you could do is you could use this feature of the data bank, which is the data merge, right? So what this is, is, I don't know if you play Genshin, it's kind of like the strongbox in Genshin. Um, yeah, I'm not going to try to explain the strongbox in Genshin. I'm going to explain this. So the data merge, the way it works is you have five echoes, they like put them you know, in the circle, as you can see. And in there, you put your five echoes and then what you do is you get two, right? Because as you get shown right here. There's a possibility to get two echoes. That's pretty cool. Now, I say to start doing this at data bank level 8 is because the echoes that you get from this are based on like your data bank level, right? So until you lock level 15, you won't get legendaries, I think. Uh, or there may be like some like really like low chance, right? Until you reach 15. Cool. But yeah, I would recommend from 8... Cause that's kind of like it's easy to get to eight right but then to get from eight to 15 that takes a while so what this does the data merge you use the five echoes right that you have and you're just gonna put in like greens blues maybe some purples you know if you get have like defense hp or like i don't know like the wrong damage type something like that you can throw those away because obviously they're wrong you don't need them so yeah, you put them in here if i show you you click like this and then I'm just gonna put these guys in, these purples, and then, as you can see now on the right, it's all filled in, right? So that's cool. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click data merge, and then what's gonna happen? Confirm. Yeah, that's fine as well. And what you can see is you got new echoes, crazy. What happens in the data merge also, if you start at level eight, right? When I said to like start it basically, what you're gonna get is you're gonna start getting Echoes that you haven't farmed yet. So basically, this is like kind of a way to like speed run the farming of echoes, right? To level up your data bank at least. It won't. It probably won't speed up the like you getting like high quality echoes, uh, but it's gonna speed up you leveling up the data bank so you can start getting high quality echoes. And then what's what's gonna happen is you're gonna get some N some echoes that you've never gotten before at like purple rank. So then you're gonna get like 35 XP just like that, out of nowhere. I done this when I reached 15, I started using a data merge. Up until then I was just like killing echoes to get to 15. Uh, where on stream I was able to get, like again, I just waited until I got to 15. And then I started getting legendaries of like every echo in the game. And what happened is I went from data bank 15 to like data bank 17, just like that. Just from merging the echoes, it was crazy. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. That's how that works. And yeah, I would if you like if you don't if you really don't want to farm echoes, then you can start merging at level eight. But you know, if you can like hold out a little bit, you know, just chill, play the game, play the story, all that, until you reach like data mark 15, then uh that would be great. Because then you get from 15 to like 18, which we are stuck at right now. Uh you're gonna get there instantly. You you see for me, I'm like right now it's 18 is the cap because we need to like ascend a little bit more 
but yeah, I'm re I'm already ready to get to level 20 when I unlock it, so it's that easy. That's kind of like about it. That's kind of like my tip, right? Just about the data merge. Um, at level 8, you can do it if you don't want to farm, but the most optimal way for me uh, to start like leveling up a little bit more and, you know, don't go through the pain of having to wait for stuff to drop would be at level 15. Now, if you do want to farm Echoes, uh, let's say like before level 15, right? You get XP for your data bank. There is a, a way to speed up the process, I would say, right? So the way this works is we can go to the second tab, the Echo Gallery. And what we have here is we have a list of Echoes, right? And they're ready. I've been here before to show you the XP, right? So what you can do as well is if I move the screen over here, at the bottom right here, we have a track button. That's pretty cool. So what that track button will do is whenever you select like this guy, right? So I don't have him a legendary. But what I want is I want to get into legendary to level up my data bank. You get that extra 20 XP, right? Um, so what that track button is going to do, if I click on it, is going to show me where this echo is. And there it is. So you just go there, kill them, and hopefully get the legendary to get XP, right? For the data bank. So yeah. I've done this from, you know, basically from when I started the game, <laughs> just so I can speed run the data bank. Um, yeah, just with every mob going through them. When you unlock blues, go through all the echoes, get the blues. When you unlock purples, go through all the echoes, unlock the purples. When you get legendary, do the data merge for data merge first, just so you can like you know kind of skip that a little bit because legendaries are annoying to get. And yeah, reach level 18 quickly. So yeah, that's about it with that. Just good luck. No, I wish you the best in your drops, but what can you do? Sometimes, sometimes uh, you don't get what you want in life, right? So now, as I mentioned, we also have echoes themselves right? and how they work. So I'm just going to go through this quickly because like, I'm not like into like the numbers. I'm not going to tell you like, oh, what's the best? What's like what you need, blah, blah. But I'm just going to tell you just the basics, really, on like how to start getting them and raising some echoes, right? So, if I go away from the data bank, and I go to Resonators, and I go to my Rover, but you saw what is crazy, man. It's crazy. So, we have here our echoes, my echo inventory, right? So, I have this, right? I'm the crownless now. It's crazy. Cool. So, what we have here is your echo inventory, right? So, as we talked about before, let's cover this first, the cost. As you can see at the top left, top left over there, there's a cost. Now, what that means is you can see that every echo on the left, right? In the like five circles on the left, right? Uh, they all have a number next to them. So, there's four, three, three, one, one. So, if you've already figured out what that adds up to, that's 12. Nice. Cool. But the problem is, at like low data bank level, you, you're you going to start with 8 cost as the limit, and then you're going to go up. I don't know if it's like 8, 10, 12, maybe. I don't know. I don't remember. So what you can do basically, what that means is that you're not able to go above it. So I'm not able to equip all 4 costs, right? Because then I'll go above the cost level. And just like as a quick TLDR, the best like combo for every single character would be just have a 4 cost as your main echo. Then two free costs and then two one costs. Um, that's kind of like for every character. I don't think there's like also another combination where I uses like what was it? So what we have here is we have the four cost, right? So what the four cost is, they will be those like boss bosses, right? So like this guy, the crownless, right? Or like the monkey, if you fought the monkey, right? Like he's a four cost. As you can see here, if I filter at the top by four cost. So these are going to be like, I think I have all of them. No, I don't. But you see, they're like the bosses basically on the map, right? So that's what those are. Then the free costs right here. These are the elites, right? So the big monsters. So for example, this wolf guy, if you remember, he comes like in a pack. So he's like the big guy, the big one, high HP guy. And then he has like the smaller wolves next to him, which are the one costs, which are these guys, right? So that's how it works. So the free costs are the elites. And the one cost and just the like you know normal like npc ass mobs right and you know just to, the way you get them is you just have to kill 
for the four costs you have to kill the bosses for the three costs you have to kill the elites and for the one cost you just have to kill the normal mobs right they all have different like stats they can get right for the four cost right for the bosses what you can get is you can get as you can see over here from this list you can get crit rate as your main stat you can get let me check for my other ones you can get crit damage crit rate crit damage attack and what else and that's all i have for now basically this is how you get a crit right there's like no other way to get it uh basically yeah i mean you can get lucky through the substats but nah just like use crit rate crit damage um cool so yeah so that's what the four cost is that's where you get your crit basically and the free cost this is where you get your if you see my wolf right he has the havoc damage bonus so this is where you get like your elemental damage bonus, which like it's really good by the way you should always go for the elemental damage bonus you can get attack again you can get like all the elemental type of damage you can get energy region which some characters do you use this isn't like oh your character is this you know you need that type of damage for example like you have like Verena, right she's a healer she doesn't do damage she's like a healer buffer so what you do you spam her with energy region so she can like spam the ulti right over and over again oh, or like yang yang right because her thing is like a sub dps like switch roll kind of right um you can put on her one arrow damage bonus and one energy region just so we can speed up the rotation a little bit more uh so that's that energy region what else can we get no that's what it looks like cool so that's the elite and then for the one cost you can get attack percent as your main stat or you can get well you can have like the defense percent and hp percent as the main stats right but every single character in the game for the one cost they want attack because everyone's kills with attack this isn't like actually i may be lying maybe tau chief uh does defense but i don't know because i don't have her but from what i've seen almost every character uh needs attack percent right so that's what you want just like filter just like merge your echoes until you get attack percent right then another thing that we have if you see how that is here in the green writing we have the sonata effect right so basically that's a set bonus if you played any gacha game ever you know what the set bonus is basically if you have all five pieces you're gonna get a big bonus if you have the two pieces of the set then you're gonna get a two bonus now as you can see for this havoc damage thingy i want all five basically in this game to be honest it's kind of easy every character whatever the element is you want that full set bonus right full five set bonus this there exists this attack one this attack specific sonata effect but i don't think anyone uses that and it's not like the best to have like two attack and then two elemental damage right yeah it's just better to just go full in with the five set right because it just does a lot of damage <laughs> and that's the case for like a support characters so for example yan yan she wants the energy regen the moonlit clouds set right but she again wants the full five set because it's really OP. And then we have, for example, like Verena, which is a healer. And she wants this set, the Rejuvenating Glow set. Because again, it's OP. When you heal them, you give them attack. Crazy. So yeah, um, it's pretty simple, to be honest. Just get a five set on whatever element they are. Um, you know, there's obviously like exception, like Yang Yang wants the energy region one. And then Verena wants the healing one. You know, do your own research on that. There's like, you know, pride one and stuff. To look at now let's move on to the very exciting and definitely not at all crazy frustrating system of leveling up your echo and unlocking substats yay great another system that makes you want to hate yourself for not getting the right picks ah the right stats i mean the right substats so as you can see other way this way all the way on the left we have these like kind of like subheadings so upgrade to plus 5 plus 10 plus 15 plus 20 plus 25 to tune this is also another reason why you want legendaries because you're able to unlock all of those five tunes right five substats uh with purples and blues and greens you, you can't you can you like unlock less right uh so yeah that's why you want to wait for legendaries and to not waste your xp obviously because you end up like this yay where you have nothing cool. but for the case of the showcase i'm just gonna level this up up to five just to show you how it works, right? So, it says here, upgrade to plus 5 to tune. You get up to plus 5, like this. Right? 
you just have your echo xp thingy you can exchange or the existing echoes if you have them already leveled up that's fine and then you can see what's gonna happen is your main stats are gonna go up your like flat attack and then your arrow damage bonus is gonna go up right so that's cool um at level 25 it goes up to 30 percent damage bonus for the free cost right then you upgrade you know spend a little money and then you get a sub attribute slot the way this works is you have to use these premium tuners right that you get from either tasseled field or just like exploration um i haven't farmed for this don't farm for any tasset fields tasset discords don't don't farm any of that just farm echoes and then you're gonna get enough to level them up because you can see right now i have 240 so i'm like nowhere close to running out of this these things right but that's good the way it works again you spend a little money and 10 of these premium tuners and you press tuning and that's pretty bad well it's okay um so you can get some sub stats like this so what you're able to get every single type of skill that um like character has you're able to get a damage bonus for it so for example this one i got a heavy attack damage bonus great um so you're able to get like you know resonator resonance liberation damage bonus resonance skill damage bonus stuff like that basic attack damage bonus but the most important one as always it will be crit rate crit damage great um so yeah if you don't get crit, rate, crit damage just give up on the piece basically it's your gacha games man so that's how that works. Just good luck in tuning your echo. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's crazy. Now, one more thing that I haven't mentioned is in the in order to get the full five set boost, right? Let me put myself in the middle again. What you need is your echoes. Oh, that way, this way. In the five circles on the left, they need to be different, right? So, for example, you see, like, I have the lizard selected right now, right? Like, if I had two lizards, so, like, the stone guy was the lizard, I want to get a full set. They all need to be different, unfortunately. Um, what you're going to mix, like, adds a extra tiny bit layer of difficulty, which is annoying, but, like, I mean, what can you do, right? They all need to be different in order to get a set bonus. If you have, like, two lizards, right, then I want to get a set bonus because it doesn't count. It has to be a completely different echo. Which is pretty cool, I guess. Uh, well, no, it's annoying. That's what we have. And that's Echoes and Data Bank, basically. If you enjoyed, if it made sense, let me know. Good luck on your Echo. Upstat tools. That's about it. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.